since that's the closest I think we've seen of you, Niagara version. Is that is that the best you felt playing, and, and why was it different for you today? Yeah, you know, I just had a, uh, to start off the season, you know, just had a rough stretch, you know, trying to get it going with the guys. You know, they already been in the flow, so I was just trying to, you know, get accustomed to everything. But, you know, it was it was, it was was bound for a good game. How much of the, how much are you, like, feeling better without the brace and feeling more confident in the knee? Yeah, for sure. It, I mean, the brace was, you know, definitely a little setback. But, you know, now that I'm out of it, you know, no more excuses. It's time to go. For, for both you guys, oh, sorry. For, for both of you guys, when you have the type of combined performance that you had tonight, how much pressure does that take off the rest of the team? I go first. Yeah. All right, I go. Um, you know, it takes a lot off because um, we talked a lot this week about everybody doing their part. And to be able to, for me, I struggled offensively uh, first half. And just being able to put, uh, get rebounds, um, it says I got eight. I don't, I don't even remember getting eight. But <laughs> just being able to do that and just help our bigs out is just, Tremendous effort. Um, you know, I just want to make it easier uh, for myself and my teammates. Yeah, for, for me, you know, JJ is already, you know, you know, he is what he is. You know, but for me, just want to help the guys. You know, when other people are having off nights, so you know, just stepping in for for them. Were you, Marcus, were you able to do much from the sideline when you, in those first seven games, just watching? Like as far know, as like basketball stuff. Yeah, and just getting an idea of how you might fit in. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, for sure. I like even when I wasn't playing, I was able to work out and stuff. It was just like working my way back like three on three or like five on five, you know, just working week by week. JJ, when you're not hitting shots like that, how much of an effort do you think? Okay, I'm like, go get on the glass and go get eight rebounds. Yeah. And did you think you had more than eight rebounds? No, I didn't think I had close to eight rebounds. Really? Yeah. I, was just, I was just trying to attack the ball, uh, be aggressive. I knew um, first half, like, it was not going at all. And I remember going back to the huddle, I was like, I'm going to do what I got to do defensively. Um, tonight's not my night. Um, I'm going to look to get you guys shots. and. But second half, I was aggressive and shots started to fall. So I knew that it was only a matter of time. When you're not hitting it from the outside, do you make it a conscious effort to drive it more? Because when you drive it, it seems like you're, you're able to, to at least finish that. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been working all week, well, all season, really, just to, because I have like a, you know, a bigger frame and I just want to be able to use that. Um, so I've been attacking and I know I can get downhill. So um, when shots aren't falling outside, the easiest thing to do is go get a layup. There were seven minutes left second half, and you guys had 50 shots, and half of those were three-pointers. Was it just not being able to get inside? Was it something you just said, we're open in the three, we're going to just take it? Yeah, we were open, we're going to take it. We have shooters on the team. Um, you live to, you want an open shot like that. We know that normally we're going to knock those down just tonight. Um, things weren't falling, but we know next game, game after that, those shots are going to fall, and we're going to put more uh, points on the board. So. Marcus, given what you guys had just been through and what's coming, how much did you need a game like this? Yeah, for sure. It was a big confidence booster. But like I said, just, you know, trying to fill in for the guys, you know, off nights. Or, and we got a big stretch coming up. You know, we got Miami on Friday. So this was a big step to for us, for all of us. JJ, what does ACC play mean now? Here, from here on out, it's league play. It's time to lock in starting tomorrow. Um, time to lock in defensively. Time to lock in offensively. Get all the kinks out because um, we have what they're ranked number one on Friday. We got a, a big conference game. We got to get that one, and then we got a tough stretch. So it's just time to dig in.